What's up? So I'm here, here in the dungeon. Just finished my push workout. So I wanna go through that push workout with you guys. So then you can follow along and do the actual exercise that I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the exercises. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit. I'm gonna try to keep it short. So this way you can have the full routine, take it with you to the gym, follow along, get it done. Let's fucking okay. go. So right now, let's get into this. Ah. So yeah, as you can see, I'm starting to lean out. So what we'll do is, let me move this here so you can see me more. So, the first exercise, shoulder press. You'll see in the actual routine how many sets, how much weight. So here is what I'm doing, and it's a major tip here that's gonna help you a lot. And what I'm doing is when I do a shoulder press or any type of pressing movement over the head, for some reason when you look up and you look at the dumbbells or you look at the barbell and then you control in the negative, it makes... Here we move into the pretty much tricep press down or extension, but I'm doing this on the bow flex, but you could do this in the gym. Pretty much you're setting yourself up, keeping your core tight, keep your elbows tucked in, and then just pretty much... All the movement is just going to happen straight on the tricep. Just press it down, allow it to come to the top, and then press it down and repeat. Incline press with additional resistance that I have. But you don't have to add that. I just do it because I'm training at home. So pretty much you want to contract the chest here at the top. You want to think of like, you know how they say hugging the tree? But you want to try to get each uh, bicep to the other side pretty much. So like this which is impossible, but that's the idea. That's what you want to do to get a full contraction. What I'm doing here is I'm pretty much like, uh, here actually I'm going to open it. This, is, this should be your starting position. And what I was doing before, that should be your partials at the end. So if you do this, pretty much you feel the contraction in the tricep. And as soon as you fatigue, don't stop. I took a 45 uh, pound bar and I strapped weight from the resistance and also weights from the actual weights. Pretty much it's just a close grip tricep push down or uh, press pretty much. What I'm doing here is very tough. It's I'm actually trying to push, pull myself and I'll hold myself because the resistance is pulling me back. I was using my legs to control it. Here we move into overhead dumbbell uh, extension, but I added resistance here. I wanted to challenge myself. So just do what you can. You don't have to use the same weights. Don't use your ego. I've been training for a while and I've been working with uh, pretty much like a strength training phase and been logging and keeping track of everything and doing progressive overload. is to start with your pull-ups so do pull-ups as part of your pull day routine i'll do five to six sets of this maybe 10 20 and then i'll increase it by adding weight to the pullover i'm adding resistance here i'm making it really challenging here i was having trouble to figure out how i'm going to do this so i added the resistance from the low press. as you can see this is very challenging for me but I wanted to challenge myself because at this phase, I'm at the strength phase. So I wasn't focusing on hypertrophy. I was focusing on, uh, on strength. So I was trying to get like five to six reps. So depending on your goal, you could do sets of uh, three, four, four sets, maybe 10 to 12 reps. If your goal is hypertrophy, if your goal is strength, then five to six reps should be good. As you can see, the weights look like they're going all over the place. But I had full control of the weights, which was good. So here we move into the barbell bent over row, or you can call it a pen lay row. Because the way I'm doing it here is I'm actually letting it drop to the floor 
then I'm exploding to the top. I'm trying to keep my back into a, like a 90 degree angle. I'm trying not to round my back and I'm pushing. Here we go into a uh, barbell deadlift. Pretty much, I also added resistance from the bow flex here. What I'm doing is I'm pretty much thinking of pushing myself away from the ground. So once you think that, you can initiate your legs, your back. When you come to the top position, make sure you're contracting your lower back and your shoulders. Use an explosive matter here. Use a control matter when you go on the negative, but be safe. Be careful. So here what I'm doing is I'm doing a, pretty much a hammer curl, but also adding resistance from the bow flex. As you can see with every exercise, I'm just trying to add resistance since I'm training at home and I don't have the appropriate weight to use, I guess. So I just pretty much work with where I got and think out of the box. So if you need to do that, do that. For the gym, you can just use a cable pulley machine. Attach the cable pulleys and then just pretty much curl them and allow the resistance to pull you back and you go against the resistance. That's pretty much it. Here we move into heavy curls. Pretty much I'm in a seated position and I'm keeping my core tight and just curling the weight as you can see here. You wanna focus on the full contraction at the top Here what I did is I attached the 45 pound uh, bar, I added some weight, and then I added the additional resistance from the bow flex. And pretty much what I'm doing is a stand up barbell curl. Here. here we move into legs, so we move into squats. Notice how I'm grabbing the bar. Thing you do is you pretty much just push your butt back as you push your butt back the weight starts falling by itself come up i don't have many options at home and equipment so please pay attention to the sets and reps